those of us who read runes and work with them quite a bit always have that one rune where when it pops up, you're like, mm, what does this exactly mean? Because it hasn't always popped up in the best circumstances in the past or in the best, like, at the best time of my life or when I really needed an answer, it was just kind of mocking me when it popped up. For me, that rune is Pertho. Now, Pertho is, um, it's, it's often likened to a gambling cup because of some of the rune poems, like the Saxon rune poem, and about, you know, gambling with a, you know, a cup of dice in the, uh, in the mead hall, what have you. Or, but it's also, it's also connected to fertility and the womb, and kind of like the birthing of a new life, or, or new, you know, situation, or a, a new, it basically means initiation, but it's, it's just like a whole new situation. That means you're going to have to go through something that you're not really sure what it is, but it's going to it's gonna kind of help make a new part of you. It's going gonna, it's gonna to give you the pressure that you need in order to go through that passage that you're in in life. Um, that might be small, it might be big. But for me, Pertho, it always pops up when either, and I know it's going to be like a bad day or I'm about to go through a really crappy time or... But at the same time, it's it's like I needed to go through that bad situation or I needed to go through that crappy time in my life. And ultimately, it was necessary. Um, it's not quite like Noth is where constraint, where you're learning from constraint. It's it's more it's more mysterious. It is a uh, it's a mystery room. It's an occult room. It's one that probably has the most mystery to me. You know, you have Ansuls, which is calling upon the gods. And it's that's Odin's rune. And that one pops up for me a lot uh, when I'm drawing runes from my rune bag that I made. And another one that pops up a lot is Algis Hegalas is actually my birth rune. Um, it's, you know, I was born October 29th, but um, Hegalas is, uh, is disruption. It's kind of like stormy chaos um, kind of vibration. But uh, Pertho just, it just comes at the weirdest times. Because so I, I drew this, I, I drew this, this rune from my rune, my rune bag, you know, yesterday uh last night um this isn't my rune bag or from my rune bag by the way this is me putting it on parchment and being like okay it's time for it's time for whatever you're gonna throw at me um i'm ready for it guide me along my way um that's why i do runes on pieces of parchment and carry them around when i'm pulling a rune where you know i'm really asking what i need or what i need to understand or what's guiding me right now or what what I need to focus on. That's when I draw a rune. Sometimes, and that's not the that's not the only reason I draw runes. But last night I did that, and then I had a really really hard day with technology today at uh, at uh, my college, um, um, working with laser printers and um, Adobe Lightroom and photography things like that. Um, nothing seemed to go right. I tried so many different things. I got help on so many different things. Nothing wanted to click nothing wanted to work. And I was, you know, after hours and hours, I, I was kind of pushed to my limit. I'm like, I got to get out of here. I just want to run away. And I was like, no, let me try every last thing I can to complete this project to make sure that I'm where I need to be, you know, tomorrow or the next day. And then when I had finally tried the very last thing I could try, I was like, all right, that's it. Um, I've tried everything that I could try, but there's there's this point where I was just like, before I tried everything that I could try, you know, I'm not going to go into details, but before I tried everything that I could try, um, I was just like, I just want to quit. But I was just like, no, just stay focused. Because, you know, you get you, when you get that stressed feeling like, I do not want to do this anymore. I'm angry. I want to scream, even though there's people around. I'm biting my knuckle and shit. <laughs> and I was like, I was just like, Hunter, just... Just try as much, just try everything you can. And I did, and it still didn't work. <laughs> but my main point is, is that Pertho always pops up when it's something quirky that's just really going to get to me. Um, but I I feel like I learned a little something today. It's just a little lesson. It wasn't like a big one. But it, I learned, it gave me a little bit of sh strength to know that even when I really reached my limit, in a small way, not a big way, um, that little voice in the back of my head that keep, says, keep trying. I think that was Pertho uh, influenced. I really do. And uh, it's it's a, it's a runic spirit that's showing its, its significance in my life and how it can move me forward. Even if it's not, even if everything isn't going to work out, it can still move me forward because it's the initiation process. At any rate, I hope this was useful. This is kind of a rant. 
it wasn't it wasn't uh it wasn't an in-depth video on Pertho. But I will say that um it was an interesting day and I knew as soon as I drew that rune, I was like, damn it.